Welcome back to building a WordPress theme with Tailwind and underscores. Today we're going to finish up the front page by completing the footer. Let's get started. Alright, so looking at our theme down here at the bottom right now, we have a couple links. It says uh, powered by WordPress, we have a theme name, and my name here. Um, so let's go ahead and make this like a big area. Uh, use our teal color to style the background, center it up, and make it look good. Let's go over to the Tailwind docs real quick. Now there is a height sizing that we can use here. Uh, I'll probably use one of these large ones, maybe the 48 or 64, uh, and that'll set the height of our footer. So let's uh, let's start with that. Let's go into our code down to the footer PHP. This is the footer that wraps the info that we saw earlier, the uh, WordPress link. The separators, the theme is created by, all that. So right here, instead of site footer, let's try H48. And let's go ahead and do a background teal. Maybe match the what we did on the header. Let's refresh the page. All right, so I think that's a good sizing. Might be able to go with 64. I think that's a decent size. All right, so we're gonna want to center this horizontally and vertically, so we can easily use Flexbox for that. So Flex, Justify, Center, and Items, Center. I believe that's correct. Awesome. Now the links are using that global style we applied, so we're gonna want to adjust that some. All right, so let's override these. Let's go into SAS, Components, Let's make a new component here. Call it footer.scss. Go into our style. Make sure we import it. For components, footer. All right. We also want to make sure our gulp is watching our styles. That's good. All right, so we have footer with site info. Let's just do this called site footer. So we have footer, with class of site footer, and we want to style the hyperlinks. So let's apply, um, let's just make sure it's working real quick. Let's just add a text thread. All right, so that is working. Um, I'm thinking that we do maybe a light, lighter gray, or and then when we hover it, change the color a little bit. So let's do text gray and see how that looks. Oh, that's a little too light. Let's do darker. All right, when we hover it, let's make it the gray darkest. So we'll do and hover. So when the footer site hooder anchor tag is hovered, we will apply a text gray darkest. All right, I think that looks all right. Now, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Uh, we currently don't really have anything down here. And I was thinking it'd be a good opportunity to add in some social icons. So my idea here <clears throat> was to add the social icons at the footer as well as in the header. Um, so you can click on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, let's log in here real quick. I was thinking of adding it to the customizer. This would be a cool place where we could have a section called social icons and you could add in the links to your social media pages. Um, so tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you want to continue styling and go on to the individual pages and posts next? Or <clears throat> should we take a few episodes to build out the customizer and add that to our header and footer? All right, I know that was a pretty short episode for this week, but uh, if you leave a comment below, we'll either get on to styling more pages with Tailwind, or we will move on to the customizer. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe below, and I'll see you next week.